game have any significance to you? Uh, yeah, it has a little bit of significance. I mean, it's another team that we have to beat, you know, in order to go to and achieve our goals as going to the national championship. Plus, I mean, I know I have a lot of friends on the team, a lot of people. I know all the coaches. So, I mean, it's kind of like a rivalry game, even more so to me. Have you talked to any of those guys recently? No, I have. Uh, about a couple of weeks ago, I mean, I talked to uh, Drake Nevis, and we just talked a little bit, and not much about the game. We just talk about, like, how each other are doing, and mm -hmm. so, like, playing wise. Can you give us a Cliff Notes version of how you got here? Uh, I mean, how I got here, just things just uh, look better here than it did at LSU. Just, I mean, all the coaches, the players, the program is great. I just saw a better fit at Alabama than I did at LSU. You got some more playing time against Tennessee, obviously. Just talk about how you felt like you, you played in that game and, and what that experience can do for you going forward. I felt I played pretty good. I mean, there's always room for improvement. But as, as far as experience-wise, uh, I think it got me like well like trained for what to look for, what the game speed's like to play like the whole game. What's it going to be like going back to Baton Rouge? Uh, exciting. Uh, just to see, every, see all the places that I just came from and all the people, all the friends. It's going to be pretty exciting. Do you think you'll hear anything from the uh, LSU fans? Ooh, I hope not. <laughs> I hope they wouldn't do me like that. A couple years ago, though, I mean, fans were foaming at the mouth that Coach Saban was coming back. Did that kind of translate to the team, do you think, the LSU team? Um, not really, because, I mean, a lot of people on the team didn't get to play for Coach Saban. Mm -hmm. So they really had no connection to him. So, I mean, at LSU, it was just – Another game, we had to you had to beat Alabama to make it to our goals. I was gonna say that's not just another game though. I mean, Alabama LSU has been pretty intense. Yeah. For a while. Yeah, we. It's always been a pretty intense game. When I mean, win or lose, everybody puts it all in. Marcel Derry was talking about the other week about being intimidated. LSU intimidated with the tiger out there. You come out like, what does LSU do with that tiger? They purposely try to intimidate other players. To be honest, I don't even know. All I do is hear about they having a the tiger out there right, right when they come out, and all, normally I hear the the tiger roar. So I'm, I'm guessing they get the tiger to roar every time the other team comes out to intimidate. So this well, this would be my first time. Hug the tiger or something. I don't know. I get them. I'm guessing. <laughs> what were things like in in the LSU locker room in in 2008 after that overtime loss? Uh, just I mean, let down because. We didn't win. I mean, it's always it always hurts to lose a game, especially in overtime. So just knowing that we were so close and didn't get to pull it out, it hurts even worse. Is, it, is there a sense among players that's attached to this series that that this is this is kind of the game that makes or breaks the season in the SEC West? In a way, it is, but really, everyone is looking at LSU and Auburn. Because, I mean, after we, if we do beat LSU afterwards, we, I mean, we still have to go through Auburn, which is so-called the, the high-power team right now. Even go, going back to your years at LSU there, was there, was there did you sense at LSU when you were there that, that the Alabama game was a, was a make-or-break kind of game? Yes, sir. It really was, um, either between Alabama and Auburn. For those, like, whoever wins between us three are normally the, the ones coming out of the West that's going to win it. Or going to the uh, SEC championship. Coming from LSU, is there anything specific they say about Alabama? Do they have a, anything they, from being in that locker room, what do they say about Alabama players or fans or anything in general? They don't really say anything in general, just uh, just trying to get better, everyone trying to do their part. They know it's a, it's a rivalry game between us just because of Coach Saban and just the past years. So everyone's just trying to do their part. One more. Uh, they're getting better and better, eat by week by week. So hopefully, it just keeps getting better, and I just keep putting myself out there. Was there one thing in particular though that kind of clicked for you a little bit? Uh, not really. Just just trying to do whatever the coaches tell me to do, just to better myself as a player and better the team. Uh, 
Mark Barron today was named a, a finalist for the uh, Clerk Award. <coughs> what does he mean to the secondary? Uh, it means a lot. Mark is basically the brains of the secondary. So if anyone has a pr like doesn't know what to do or they come out in a formation we we haven't practiced, everyone just looks at Mark and Mark normally just tells us something to play and we'll correct it on the sideline when we have to.